Hello, dear foodie friends, and welcome to Kitchen Chat TV on the Road. I'm Margaret McSweeney, your host, and I am so excited to introduce you to the co-producers of the new movie documentary that's coming out very soon called James Beard, America's First Foodie. I am here with Kathleen Squires and also Elizabeth... Federici. Yes, Federici, who are the co-producers. First of all, congratulations on finishing this. Thank you. Thank you yes. so much. Yes, yes. And I'm so intrigued because we're so excited in Chicago to once again be hosting the James Beard Awards, which is truly a highlight for the city. And can you share with us about making the movie and, and what inspired you to make a movie about James Beard? I think the main inspiration was that a lot of people, because of the awards, they know about the name James Beard. They know about the awards, but they don't know much about the man behind the medal. Yes. So what intrigued you most about the man behind the medal? What surprised you the most? I think we discussed this. That The most surprising thing to me was that he wasn't a food snob. He loved his peanut butter and jelly. He loved his caviar and foie gras. He really loved all food. Oh. And I guess that's not a surprise looking at the size of the man, but. <laughs> <laughs> that is terrific. And so you're co-producer on this mm -hmm. and director on Correct. this. So have what was it like to actually put together the vision and actually execute this. I mean, that's a huge thing. It was a challenge because he was an incredible man that lived an incredible life. Um, he lived nine decades of the 20th century. He mm -hmm. saw the first TV, the first car. Um, he watched the food world grow from infancy. So I think the hardest part was um, having to make those tough choices of what didn't make it in, um, uh, even as much as what was going to make it in. So. Um, but it was a fun and it was great to meet all his old friends and people who loved him and um, not, not a single really person that I can think of uh, said no. Everybody was really excited about helping, so. And I love this. So you have interviews with some of his friends to share the story. What was one of the most memorable stories that really stood out to you? One of the most memorable segments for me was about how he co-founded City Meals on Wheels with Gail Green and just how it has grown over the years since. And I wish Jim were still alive today so that he could see what's happening. Um, I think now they raise something like $19 million a year. And when they started, it was just, you know, several thousand. Yeah. <laughs> so they're feeding a lot of um, hungry elderly people in New York City now because of James Beard. I love that. What a heart for charity. What, I, I love that. I did not know that about James Beard. That I think we're all going to learn so many exciting new things about him and discoveries. So what about you, Elizabeth? What was one of the, the key, I guess, interviews that you had and, and featuring in the story about James Beard? Um, you know, I think, um, oh, that's a tough one. But uh, I think that um, meeting some of his students, especially, uh, and his Oregon students, Irene Jew, Jerry Lamb, who were, became very dear friends, um, they got a really intimate uh, time with him. And so it was really fun to, you know, I live in Portland now, so I kind of understand that I grew up in New Jersey, so we kind of flip-flopped. <laughs> But I understand that love of the Pacific Northwest. So to be able to be, you know, there and be in Portland and be in Seaside and meet folks that spent the summers with him where I know he, he loved so much, I think that was really charming and fun. Well, what is your favorite dish that James Beard had a recipe about? What, what has been your favorite taste of James Beard? Probably, I would say, recipe-wise, I love the... Um, his strawberry shortcake and it, it looks so beautiful in the film it really makes you start to salivate <laughs> when you see it yeah. with the fresh whipped cream and and everything yeah and i was going to say also um something that i have just recently been seeing again that i read in one of his early books because he loved berries and he loved them to be really really simple and he put a lot of fresh cracked pepper and i had never put cracked pepper with strawberries before and like, I, I can't even imagine having them without it now. And so I think that was something that I discovered, just simple berries macerated with maybe a little grand marier and wow. 
and salt and pepper. <laughs> it was so good. I never thought about seasoning strawberries. Mm, oh. You'll never go back. <laughs> Fascinating. So were you able to feature a lot of the dishes then and, and, and prepare the dishes for the movie? Was that part of it? We left the preparing of the dishes <laughs> to the chefs, to the professionals. So we have Jacques Pepin oh. making some crepes. We have Larry Forgione making that strawberry shortcake. Uh, we have Danielle Baloud actually making one of the city meals on wheels to deliver. And we also have Naomi Pomeroy mm. from Portland making James Beard's watercress uh, sandwiches. And onion sandwiches. Onion oh, sandwiches, onion. right. <laughs> and um, oh God. Uh, Wolfgang Puck making oh, yes. fresh prawns. Yes. Oh, um, wow. So, yeah, it was. Wow, this is, I, I think everybody better eat before you go to the movie theater <laughs> or they were going to be <laughs> really hungry. So, tell us about the release. Where will it be showing? Where can our foodie friends see the movie about America's fo first foodie? May 19th on PBS's American Masters Nationwide. Yep. Oh, so Yep, great. and then before that, well, we're going to be having some premieres um, starting uh, at the Sonoma Film Festival um, oh. on March 31st mm -hmm. and April 1st, and then also um, in Portland on May 5th, which is actually his birthday, so we're super excited about that at the oh, Portland Art wow. Museum. And then New York is actually April 23rd. Um, and then Los Angeles at the fabulous Charlie Chaplin th Mary Pickford Theater um, wow. on May 9th, uh, 18th, and then the broadcast is May 19th. So how special! And and by way of disclosure, we're here right now in Louisville, Kentucky, at the International Association of Culinary Professionals event, and you had a premiere here last night. Yep, too. sneak preview. Yes. yes, so exciting. Well, I can't wait to see dear foodie friends. Maybe grab a copy of James Beard's cookbook, and then maybe what would be fun is if you prepare dear foodie friends maybe some of the dishes before the premiere on PBS yeah, so that absolutely. would be <laughs> Have a watching and eating party yeah, exactly. yes. yeah. in fact I might do that because I love pairing film and food yeah, so this go. will be a fun celebration of such an iconic personality America's first foodie James Beard so once again congratulations Kathleen and Elizabeth thank you so much oh and thank you dear foodie friends for joining the fun I'll make sure I have links to everything and always remember to take a moment and savor the day